We are celebrating the grand reopening of Spinoff Studio, which is a spinoff of Spindleworks Art Center in Brunswick. And Spinoff was founded in 2011 in Hollowell, just down the road. And we finally grew to capacity to where we needed to move to a larger spot. So we found that, a new home in Gardner. Spinoff Studio is a program for adults with intellectual disabilities. We provide studio space, materials, gallery, and store space, um, and promote and sell their artwork here as well as other venues. The artists come here from 10 to 3 and uh, we provide the artistic support as well as workshops teaching new techniques and so on to help them express themselves. Inclusion is core to uh, what we do both at Spindleworks, at Spinoff and of course at Independence Association. So um, we absolutely will be exploring Gardner. We already were in Hollowell doing anything we could to get out and about in the community. We have artists from the community come in and do workshops. Um, we have a program called Lunch with an Artist where uh, an artist from the community will come in um, and for example we had one um, uh, woman who works in transforming books, taking old books, cutting them up, turning them into other things. We're excited to get into um collaborate with folks at Art Dogs and the Circle in the Square Press and um, hopefully making friends with some of the galleries that are nearby so that we very much feel part of this artistic community. We team up and collaborate with other local businesses. Um, we teamed up with the Harlow Gallery in Hollowell quite a bit. We're working on a collaborative collaboration fashion show with some of the local shops downtown here in Gardner, um, funky fashions and girl trends. One of our artists has developed um, a really great relationship with um, one of the artists in the community. They were part of the um, community supported arts together um, and so they work together going to farms and painting together and then they showed together in the show and it's turned into a friendship that is ongoing. One of the staff wants to start a fiber circle here. That's something we also do at Spindleworks where on Thursdays from 10.30 to 12 there's anywhere from five to ten people, half of whom are community members, who come in to work on their stitching or knitting or quilting or whatever it is. So um, yes, we very much want this to be a community space um, that breathes back and forth um, between the, the, the members that are here but the community members as well. All the staff at at Spinoff Studio are, come from an arts background. Everyone has an art degree. Um, everyone has been a working artist of some caliber in their lifetime and still are. This is not restricted to the visual arts. Uh, we really follow the lead of the individuals who come to the program. We work in everything from drawing, painting, weaving, silk screening, block printing, music, uh, a little bit of graphic design, um, stop animation. We have an individual who, before he came to work with us, was already writing his own songs and recording his own songs on his iPhone. We had him, with the help of staff, compile sort of a best of and make a CD, and those are for sale tonight. So we're doing our best to help him take it to that next level. I used an auto tune app on uh, iBot on the iTunes App Store. You can get almost anything in the App Store. We have people writing stories. Um, we have a young woman who is absolutely into, I don't know what chapter she's on, of a very long story, maybe chapter 20, 21, um, of a fantastical story that she's working on. So we'll follow them in whatever direction they want to go. Um, pretty much anything one of the artists is interested in, we try and figure out a way to make that a possibility for them. Some of our people come in really don't have much artistic experience and so it's amazing to watch the evolution of you know the the quality of line and learning how to layer things and then learning how to express an idea that may not come out in words but in visual imagery. The artists some of them come with backgrounds already um, some of them have shown a little bit of work here and there or just done a lot of drawing and painting in their lives. Um, some of the artists come to us having never done any artwork before and you know quite often those are some of the artists that really start to flourish. Through the process they're going to be learning problem solving, they're going to be learning critical thinking skills, decision making skills, how to present themselves um, as a professional artist in the community. Um, so it's sort of a 
it's, it's a very simple idea, but with so much more to it. I, I've seen a lot of blossoming, which is really, um, really exciting because I think having something you can take ownership of and something you can be proud of really gives you confidence, which then helps you overcome things that you may not be as confident about. Art is a tool through which any of us can grow and expand, learn, and become the best person we are. We all learn from each other a lot, and I think that um, artists in, as, a, as a general population can be, you know, always are a little different, and so I feel like at Spinoff, it, we're all, the, all equally individual, but we relate as artists. If you would like more information about Spindleworks or Spinoff Studio, um, both have websites, spindleworks.org, spinoffstudio.org. Both have Facebook pages which are accessible from the websites. We're just getting started on a really great, exciting adventure. Um, and I'm excited to see where the artists are willing to go with it. <laughs>